Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and really anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering, Content for the Blood God. Now on with the show. Tonight we have Pagan. A medieval short film by Bull Moose Films. I think that's what it is. I think that's, yes, Bull Moose Films. It's the first time encountering them. I gave them a sub and a like. Let's boogie, ladies and gentlemen. Let me cut the music. Oh, come on. YouTube has been really, really wonky lately. You need to, you need to stop. All y'all like to fucking do shit at the wrong fucking time. Go on and get, get in your spot. You almost missed that one. party maybe or just uh One for the benefit of wandering children. All I said is that I'm cold. Let us go. That boar could feed my family for two months or more. Winter's coming on, and I am not one to be left like a foolish man who cannot prepare his home for winter. We will go a little further, and then you can return to your warm heart, Hawk Sand. Man's got to feed his family. Nearly mid morning. I have livestock to attend to, Oswin. I do not intend to spend the rest of this day chasing a rogue boar through the gauntlet. There's a reason why people stay away from this cursed place. It's the work of the old people here. Heretics. Feet of worship. Just last night, I heard old elf heard rumors of a sewage. Hill. Murmurs of an old man who mistakes his son regularly for the abbot of Shrewsbury. What could it be like if the devil's in this place? Of this place? Fear benefits a man nothing. Well, if I were you, Oh, 
what comes this way. God's teeth! Was a little bit of taste. doesn't look friendly. Or maybe he is friendly. I must leave here now. This man bears the past. You look like a little bit of rat. Are you mad? Don't always come away, Osman. Why do you assume this man means us harm? Run if you like, I'll stand. <laughs> he don't want to go alone. I mean, he could be good or ill. You never know. Peace be with you, traveler. We fear to you, stranger. Our Lord and Savior. What brings you to this dark wood? I could ask the same of you, friend. I came by way of the King's Road, from Wessex. Wessex? That's a journey of many miles. What brings you to the Gothweed? Surely you know this is not a good place for decent folk to be. This place, my good man, is why I am here. I have, in writing, a blessing and authorization, bestowed upon me by the Archbishop himself. Important business our holy lord as you can see the greatest importance what's that that it says there my lord we can speak of that after a while for now let's eat we have little to spare friend including daylight we must be on our way surely you would not refuse the company of a fellow christian besides i carry my own provisions let us break bread together don't want to refuse. Yeah. You carry a Norman blade? Yes, a gift from the brothers of St. Benedict in Lincoln. It has served me well in the years. You do not see many men of God of your standing this close to the border. Where else have you come from again, friend? I come from many places. And I have been to many places all over the world. Into this country, I came by way of the sea. I passed through York some time ago, the Danish town. You're north. Well, you're, you're God. Obviously, you're no Norman. Very true, friend. Yes, I'm no Saxon. As you say, I'm no Norman either. My mother and father came into this land many years ago from Trondheim. And like so many others, Suppose I still cling to the past. My God, as you say, must remind me who I am. You are a highborn, my lord? My holdings and inheritance have been very kind, friend. But, alas, I hold to no title. You talk as a noble-born man, my lord. We are all equal in the eyes of God. I would have your names, friends, that I might thank you for your company. Most men know me as Vali. What's that? My name is Oswin, son of Ethelwald, and this is Alfstad, son of Baldwin. 
We thank you for your kindness. Truly. We must be on our way. So soon. Well, I suppose I mustn't keep you. It must be a long way. Truly. And we have yet more to find in these woods. I suppose you would have lost. Hunting for the winter season. Your family. The harvest was bad. Hard times for all of England. Harder still. For the wounded boar. Finding he looks like he's been hurt. offer you good men a proposition. Of what kind? 25 Dane gas. Each. For a small fraction of your time. Wow, that is a lot of fucking money. I was commissioned to this past Michael by the Archbishop to address a threat to the local free here in Shrewsbury. The word of our most holy Lord has brought peace, goodwill, and salvation to our people. There are some who would cling to their pagan ways, bring about the worship of the old gods. The church cares for all its children, but does not wish them to stumble. News has reached us that the activity of witchcraft has been reported along the border. I suspect Welsh involvement in the matter. Due to my trade, the Archbishop found it wise to call upon my skills in this matter. The sightings were reported near the old burial mound, just across the border of the forest, but nearly impossible to reach directly through the treacherous mountains in that region. So, I am in need of a guide. And it appears the Lord has been merciful sending you to my aid. Hmm. What is your profession, Malone? I am a spellbreaker. A means of pacification. My family has followed the faith for years. Growing in the Lord has opened my eyes to the faults of my heathen ancestors. Though I maintain <clears throat> an admiration for them, I see now they were led astray by the Prince of Darkness. I seek now to ask God's forgiveness and ask for his blessing. You fought in the wars, Lord. I found at an early age that my hands were fashioned for the blade rather than for prayer. God places us on different paths at first time. Some are gifted with the blessing of smiting the enemies of God if we must. The hour grows very late. You can spare another moment, surely. It's not safe to linger very long in the Gothry. We will reach our destination presently, Osmond, son of April Wolf. God has revealed that much to me. God has appeared to you in a vision, my lord. In dreams, perhaps. In dreams are but snares for men to waste their lives away, chasing them. Wise words. How do you put stock, then, in these visions? I have the gift of God's eye. Mm. I was but a young Mysterious. lad. Mysterious. No more than seven summers of age. I was smitten by the shod hooves of my father's horse. A mortal wound, my death was secure. No one could bring back my mind to my life. But I saw it. Things God keeps hidden from man. I was brought back to serve another purpose. I became his servant, an empty vessel filled with the Lord's grace. He sees through me. Uh, some would say, I mean, like some, especially back then, would say it might be heretical. I don't know. Or at the very least boastful and maybe I don't know
What's the dude trying to do? I guess take his shirt off? Oh, it's chain mail. So he's trying to take the chain mail off without the, the shirt coming off. Wow, dude. What do we have here? We're starting to love Be still, unless you fancy a second smile. Definitely take that motherfucking axe. That is a nice weapon. English then. We best be to friendly. Not to come upon a man we have his back turn. Just a lad, he doesn't know any better. Well, what the hell is he doing out here? A soldier. Invasion army. What brings you this way? Nothing was going on down south last I hear. Fight and be damned. I've had enough of this this madness. Being slaughtered those sneaking bolts by those Welsh devils. A deserter? You know, the king has offered gold for those who return deserters. What? Bring your way back for a few coppers? No. No, you're just like to find that the bastard king has answered lavishly generously to me. Are you alone? Yes. A few others tried for it, but the dogs got him. So I take my chances here in the forest. The Welsh? The light will not allow for any more travel today. What are you lot doing out here anyway? We move south. You're welcome to see our camp in the morning. This sort of man. The man seems harmless enough. He's a Norman. So is the man to whom you owe allegiance. Doesn't mean I must like it. Spent a day already on the road. Hasten, friend. You yourself simply draw close to the burial mound. The deserter, my lord. The thief of. I do not. I do not plan to spend any more time on this venture than a month. We had an agreement, and I'll keep it. Come the end of tomorrow, we part ways. <laughs> Wild boar. What? You hunt a wild boar. In these woods. Oh. Yes. Nothing more. Come on, lad. You've heard the squeal. There isn't much more to it. You're keeping company with that Norse bastard. He's a man of God. He serves the church and our Lord. Ah. So tales of you. Monk spirit. Whenever the bleeding priest gets a grubby little fingers into anything, there's gold to be had in the business. He's no priest. There is no gold. What? Is it them? You're afraid you can wear your tongue. Go cut it out. I know you're lying. Boy. I tell me. Where'd you hide the gold? There is no gold. Ah, my lord. What shall I call you, father? The friar. The sorry bishop himself. Nearly an instrument of God, my friend. Hmm. <laughs> instrument of God. What do you call them, friend? Why bizarre? 
simply follow his instructions. And in turn, he speaks in my eyes. I'm sorry. Maybe you're not a Christian. More like one of them heathen rays at the record. God's servants are as colorful as the Christian. Mm. Good place, don't we, Alton? There we do. We should reach the place by mid morning on the morrow. What place? Is this where you had the gold? What gold? There is no gold. Right, my dear. You can see that. No wine either, I suppose. No. Tell me your mother. We'll go for her right now. Who are you, Deserter? Me. Third born sons of shit farmers from Britain. And I had no need for a third wealth. So your god saw me in my new station in life. Under pigs in the mud. And it's a shame. The father had only found me worthy of the title of son. I might have thought twice before slitting his very throat. But of myself, what better place for rogues and murderers in the army? I came over to this very shithole with reinforcements in the box back. Sorry, the mess. You know, the lost bastards. The angel with the merciless devil. So I tell myself, I don't. Hmm. You fell home because you made your father. You don't like the company of pigs. And now you murder him, Ben, for lords and barons, and you still live like an animal. And here I am. Your humble servant. Quite a tale. God is good. Not the Lord, sir. No Lord, the Sardis shall fall like him. You do not believe. Oh, I believe. I believe in the power of that. I believe that. All men are poor, helpless bastards, struck into the dive rope, trying to climb to the top of the ship pile. And I told there is light. Got this one chance, too. You might as well make the best of the night now. Do you not believe in heavenly light? How can a man live without hope? And I suppose you believe in all this business. Promises made by the church. Yes. What else is there? God speaks through the church. They are his children. The holy men among us tend to the flock. Well said. You worship a religion, boy. You don't believe in this God any more than I do. You believe in a few. So you cling to those claims made by men who have found that you can try. Simple, common, dark people. Anything that they can dream of. And they'll follow you. Like a stray dog. We all hope for a better world. Is it so bad to cling to ideals? If this be my fantasy, and a good one, why must you remove me from it? And do no harm to you. Ah, philosopher. But you can even start and read, can't you? Well, good for you. But as for me, I hold what I know to be the truths of this world. Full belly. All that warm your dead, live on your feet, as with the tremble and fairy knees. Well, these are truths. Good things, a scholar. But the church gets this thing right. The kingdom of heaven is for those who believe without having to question those who know better. And do you think given this authority to know better? Kings, emperors, men who will do anything. Put your hovering in poverty. Giving, giving, giving all to these. Holy men, who took us abroad this morning, you and I gave a man. Well, I'm clearly not about it. You speak heresy. Mm. It's one who is truly blinded. We all need, we deserve, to believe in God. It is the only way. So what about these lost bastards? The ones you haven't baptized, or killed yet? Do they not have the right to their old gods? Heresy. Hmm. images, demons of darkness that led them astray. Right, of course. 
Well, how do you know? As I ain't right. And as you're wrong. In a sight. In a sight. God grants inner sight to those who only take the step to believe. Young Aylston speaks the truth. The Christian God is the only light in the world. The true light. Oh, but your people, Norsemith. Some of them still cling to the old ways. Perhaps. Some. But the old gods failed us. They asked much of us, but offered nothing in return. Demigods, demons of fails above. Powerful, yes, but wicked. Believe me now. You, you pious lot. I, you, you just can't see it, can you? You've seen more things, deserter, than you can imagine. Phew. Go left. You're awfully quiet. What do you care what I think, Deserter? Come, speak up. What is it that you brought me for? I bow to no one but my God. <laughs> Another one. Another slave to the Holy Church. I put no stock in the church, nor its holy men, Deserter. Osman? No, no, no. In this world, man must make of it what he can. Ask yourself, is this it? Fire and agony and punishment from a harsh and vengeful God? Dark, empty nothing. A man must choose what he clings to. I never condemn a man for believing in what gives him strength. Man needs hope. We all do in these times. Mm. Definitely. You're right, Deserta. We cling to ideals. To that which we cannot have. It gives us something to live for. But you're right. There is nothing after this. Then what have I got to lose? Why must you make me aware of this? It's of no concern to you. I'm not sure the Lord would approve or agree with your thoughts, Osman. These are dark paths you stray down. Paths which lead to darker things. Perhaps. But I think you're wrong. What harm is it for a man to seek the truth? The God I cling to and I will hold this from me. Yours may be different than mine. You can't both be right and be wrong. Perhaps we'll never know. Perhaps we are both right. There can only be one truth, then. One of right. Surely you know this. I only know what you feel, my friend. Well, isn't this all right for a horse, Ted? Everyone is right. <laughs> oh, it's so simple. <laughs> Christ. I want a woman right now. Good English order help ward off these bitter nights. We're off by dawn. See to it you are gone by then. Oh, nice. My pleasure, Lord. I, I am not worthy <coughs> of you keeping company with such saints. Oh, he's very much disturbed. Hmm. Hmm.
sound has done very well. Shit. God have mercy. He's, he's dead. Right there. Who killed him? Oswald? I had no cause to kill the man. He didn't like him. And my dislikes give me cause to murder. You. Who did this? Who else? That wound. It was not from a, an axe or spear. I tell you now, before heaven I speak the truth. But I do not deny the temptation. I did not kill this man. But who did? You must leave. Now. moving like they're in danger. I don't understand. Who would have crept into our camp in the middle of the night and killed one man when we all lay helpless? God, he struck him down. His damn throat was slit like a butchered sheep. Spears. Dark spears. Elves, maybe. Spears nope. be damned. Well, maybe. It doesn't matter. He has been taken. We must leave. Now. Time is of the essence. Now hold on, I have questions for you, holy man. Now is not the time. Is it not? I want to know. Know what? You think I can't see right through you? I hide nothing. A Norseman acting inquisitor for the church. A cross around your neck, and there's some fancy writing supposed to convince me. It may have worked on the boy, but not on me. Now how about you tell me why you're really here? Use your senses, man. There is no conspiracy. I'm a forgiven servant of all I. I've had enough of this ludicrous venture already. I have nothing more to do with it. We had an agreement. But I kept it. The burial grounds just over the ridge. No more than a half mile. I've earned my payment. You cheat a man of the church. I cheat no one. The payment is mine. Fine. As you say. Take off that.
because he lost her in the trance. I believe that is a Nordic symbol, yeah? Austin, look at me. Austin, what are you doing? Who is she? Who's she? Austin, she's here, right? Who? Who is she? Austin, look at me. L listen to me, Austin. Austin! Might as well go after her. Oh, shit. He's gone, gone. Uh oh. Finally came out of his trance. What? Oh, you led right to the fucking slaughter. and off course too. Mumbling about her. We're going back to him. We won't be going back for the boy. You mean we had an agreement? And the agreement has been kept. You have brought me to our destination, where I will shortly dispatch another heretic, an enemy of God. You and your friend have your wages. We are finished. You would leave him out here to die. He is a fool and deserves a fool's death. Who are you, holy man? No more tricks. You're no man of the church. Unlike your gullible friend, Oswin, son of Aetherwald, you are no fool. And I am no more the church's man than our deserter was. You're not here for the heretic, are you? There's no witch. Oh, yes. There is a witch. That is perhaps the only grain of truth in my whole carefully fabricated tale. She is very real, and more powerful than you can imagine. So, I find it my duty to relieve her of that power. What are you, a warlock? Sorcerer? 
<laughs> no, Oswald. I'm a devout man of God. But I know of such dark alchemy. Your God has abandoned you, Oswald. He has no more power than do your droning priests to save you. The deserter was right about that much. But he was wrong about something. There is power in this world. More power than you can dream of. It is within every living thing, if only one knows how to harness it to his work. A thousand religions that people blindly cling to. Oh yes, there is power. Magic in all these things. But they do not wish to use it. Very few. We do not all wish to bend everything to our own selfish ambitions. This darkness, this power you seek, it would only one's flesh apart. Fracture the mind. Wrong, Oswald, son of Ape of You only have to be the proper catalyst. I have discovered how this is to be. The deepest secrets, mysteries that men fear. I have banished that fear. Now I fear nothing. And now you must die, son. I must collect what I came for. You are the only hindrance. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Someone will. For what? You can kill, corrupt, and destroy everything you lay your hands on. But not this. Someday someone is going to destroy you. And make you burn in hell. Brave words. Oh, you just let him do it? <laughs> Damn, dude. Tell your God who sent you, so he knows my name. Man, I was hoping at least the, uh, the, 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 the spear dude was gonna make it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Forgive me. Don't forgive me. I came up with an idea. Oswald, I don't understand. I, 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 I can't. I don't.
So you just invaded a witch's home. I know you, like, you know, passed the barrier, but, I mean. You said you would die. Subtitles are funny. You've come at last. I've come to take what belongs to me. I've dealt with many others like you, Warlock. I know your kind well. You take what you are not gifted to have. Twisting, manipulating, fashioning it for yourself. This will only destroy you from within. Others may be. Weaker men. But not I. I've killed many of you before, witch. Now I shall do so again. I've been watching you. You paid the Saxon, and yet you still killed him. Why? His precious god abandoned him. Fate. Do not pretend, thief, to know the ways of the fates. I have read the auguries. I have seen what awaits you. I make my own destiny, witch. My own fortune. Your sticks tell you only what you want to see. No one can escape the fates. Not even me. He's the right kind of fucking, like, a uh, cheese villain. And, uh, it very much reminds me, like, of, like, uh, like a way back in the day warlock type move, uh, like a prequel. like a reverse witcher. I hope the little fucking, I hope the, um, the, the kid gets him. Oh, 
she got you good. Dunsies, brother. Dunsies. Well, at least you get to maybe walk out of this place alive, young man. <clears throat> Being an innocent, you might make it out of this. I can see what she truly was. Murderer. More holy man than I. Hands are all fucking still gooey like that. You didn't wipe your shit. You just, just, you know, wipe it off. I will try, my friend. I will try. Your family. At least you got a walking stick and 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 two weapons.
I hope the witch makes it not him. No, it's the dude. That was really good. All right. So that was Pagan, a medieval short film by Bull Moose Films. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a mighty fine three hours and 37 minutes. Um, I have one last trailer for you to cap off the broadcast evening. So here we go. Welcome to a world of yesterday, where life was simpler and the future seemed bright. But beneath the veneer of suburban bliss, tensions simmered and the threat of nuclear war loomed large. In the blink of an eye, civilization crumbled and humanity was plunged into darkness. But amidst the devastation, hope endures. Within the safety of the vaults, communities struggle to adapt to their new reality. Each vault harbors its own secrets and challenges, from social experiments to power struggles for control. But as tensions rise and resources dwindle, a hero will emerge and venture out to the surface. Join us on a journey of survival as brave men and women defy the odds to rebuild what was lost and reclaim the future. This is Fallon, a tale of Ooh. courage, resilience, Fallon. and the enduring spirit of Oh, that was a fucking gruesome ghoul. Ooh, look at both. More ghouls. Ooh, rad, uh, rad grasshoppers are, uh, what were they? Rad, uh, what were they? Um... All right, ladies and gentlemen. What a ride. Thank you for joining me. Um, I encourage you to check out the preceding three hour, or two hours of content uh, right up on the menu. Right up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five films for you to watch and enjoy while you're doing your work or whatever you're doing at the time. Um, I will always, um, as always, I will have um, the individual films up um, in the coming week or weeks. Um, so look forward to that. Um, but uh, if you want the long form, it's here, especially on YouTube. Um, Twitch is taken to... Um, getting rid of YouTube, brother man. You have a great night. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Um, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow, good sir. Um, yeah. Um, you can always catch uh, the full stream on YouTube. Uh, Twitch, um, they erase things after a certain amount of time now. So uh, be sure to Yes, sir. Uh, be sure to catch uh, my streams on YouTube or <clears throat> the uh, short films are up on the Gnomish Movie channel. Uh, it's a playlist on my YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, share, follow, uh, all that stuff. It helps me out tremendously. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. Take care of yourselves, guys. Take some time out. Breathe. Enjoy yourselves. Go hang out with your friends. Uh, say you um, say hi to your mama. Tell you tell her you love her. Um, spend time with your girl. Time with your girls. Um, they need some loving too. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.